<sighs> so anyways, then she shook this flower. Yep, everyone got that. Massive drug trip. You per you yeah. timed that like perfectly for when I unmuted the the stream. <laughs> oh oh we're oh we're on! I had no idea. Oh stop it! Stop it! That was You're supposed such to be a awful private liar. Story. How could you do that? How could you do that? Stop it being such a liar! Okay, so you get. <laughs> so if we're ready to begin. I'll go ahead and recap. Yep, uh, I, I ain't got anything, so... Wait, are we live? We're... Stop it. Where right, we left sorry, off, continue. the party had... captured Thedrin and proceeded to scour his little cave of sorts. Uh, figured out that he was the green worm speaker for the cult, and that his sis cult sister was not there. Uh, and angry, frustrated, the party returned to Altant, uh, where a bit of an argument occurred and the party split. Kolth went back to Waterdeep with Thedrin, and the other four, Jasho, Valkyria, Ayana, and Artemis, uh, began headed east to go search for Jasho's son. Uh, while in Waterdeep, a council occurred, uh, Thedrin was imprisoned. Kolth tried to get his father, uh, High Priest Jevris, kicked off the council. Didn't work. Uh, but got the council members to apologize and thus gain the favor of the Metallic Dragons. Uh, one moment. Sorry. Uh, afterwards, the uh, Kolth returned to the party where they were on a boat and attacked by cult members and a dragon. A fight broke out where uh, the party member eventually emerged victorious, Jasho getting pretty beat up in the process, uh, and decided that they wanted to get to Zonthar's tower quickly, so they plane shifted through Kolth, to the Feywild for a night, and then plane shifted back to the Material Plane. And where they are now is roughly a mile away from a village near the tower. And that is where we return to. So, it's morning, roughly eight-ish. Uh, you guys can see off about a mile away, there's a small town, and then a little bit further past that is a standing tower. I'm just gonna, like, stare at the town, and then look at Valkyria, and be like, I'll race you there! And just start running. Oh, clink, clink, oh, clink, no, clink, 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 clink. Oh, dear. Alright. Oh, no, I've missed what's happening, I'm sorry. I said, I'll race you there, <laughs> to the town. To... To you, Val. Yeah. Are we still? I've. Um. Are we still? Wait. Oh, we just like stayed the night out of the town. We stayed the night well, in the Feywild, and teleported back. So it's you guys the are about a mile away from a nearby village, and it's about eight in the morning, roughly. And correct me if I'm wrong. There's no tower in sight, correct? There is there the is. tower in sight. Beyond yeah. the town. The Okay. And, and she said, okay, so she said that, and then, all right, so then I, uh, and then I start chasing after her. All right. Is, is that I like what... to imagine she's running all grumpily like me during PE, and I'm just like, ha! Ah! As I'm going. <laughs> Joshua, is, is that what you saw? Is that the tower uh, you saw? I don't know. Is it the tower I saw? Yes. Yes. Is it? Well, let's get this show on the road then. Let's get your son back. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take a deep breath and start marching forward. Yep. Artemis, are you following? Yes. No, okay. she's walking off into the jungle. Not. I decided to split the party again. I just, just, oh, I can't do it anymore. 
No, I, well, finally. I, oh. Excuse you. Well, well, I'm gonna come in there and after. beat and, you over the head. And do so what? You're... I got a knife. Hey. I'm listening, Brando. Brando's talking. Well, Judge. Well, I was uh, chasing after um, Ayana. She's like, kind of. She's trying to keep an eye on surroundings, but like, obviously, the focus is catch Ayana. All right, go ahead and make a perception check. Alrighty. Uh, you stay focused on the run, but as you run, you can occasionally see there's some other people somewhat out here tending to what you could easily guess is farmland. But... That's about the only thing of note on your run. Eat my dust, tiefling! Run faster. Uh. <laughs> all right. uh, eventually, you guys all convene into the village. Uh, unless Valkyria and Ayana, you're just really going to run around the entire village. No, we're just racing to, to the village. Who wins? Okay. I mean, I have uh, a faster speed than you. Speed, I want to know who wins. Wait, what's your passive speed? My my walking speed is 40. You suck. <laughs> and yeah, Ayana would definitely win, because Ayana also had a good start. So, Ayana makes it, and then Volkiri is short behind. You don't have to check any uh, athletics or anything? Make sure someone's not stumbling on their way? Eh? <laughs> that, like, eh? eh? Both yeah. of you make a constitution check. Oh great. You guys are Just gonna general get con check. You guys are gonna get exhausted <laughs> running to the town. Oh it didn't do anything. I clicked it. It didn't do anything. Just a straight constitution. Oh my check. gosh. Yeah. Oof. I totally <laughs> trip. <laughs> I'm just like Hey <laughs> 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 Honey, you stop for a second about halfway there and have to stop and take a breather and during that time Valkyria manages to reach up to you and you <gasps> sprint off again go ahead and make another constitution yeah. check okay okay are you kidding me holy <laughs> crap great checks there great checks <laughs> <laughs> okay so you're so you play a landslide you just have to stop again like another quarter of the way and Valkyria gets ahead of you and you sprint that last quarter and Valkyria wins. Oh, Valkyria's a <laughs> distance sprinter. Rematch, let's run back! <laughs> Maybe next time. Again. I just need a break. I'm gonna lay down in the grass waiting for our friends. Alrighty. You get struck by lightning. Roll a d20. You actually get struck by lightning. If you get a natural one, you do. Okay, you did it. Okay, good. Alrighty. So, the rest of you arrive into this little village, and it is an active village, it's not abandoned by any means. There are people going about their business, and they look upon you as you yeah, guys are new people, so some of them kind of stare as you enter. Uh, some of them seem to ignore you. What do most people seem to like be doing? Are they just like going about? I don't know. Never mind. It's a village, so they're doing villagey yeah. things. Yeah, they're doing villager stuff. Uh, like Animal Crossing villagers, because no. if that's the case, then I'm gonna bomb them, <laughs> pop them with my net. Oi! Be nice yeah, to your villagers. <laughs> catching bugs and stuff, you know, the works. Ha ha, the, Animal Crossing at the town jokes. Hall. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sawyer has no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> There's a dog playing the guitar in, in the main town square. Um, <laughs> anyway. Oh, and someone found a lily of the valley. Wow. <laughs> Is there a, ra a, ra a raccoon homeowner who sells a house to you and then <laughs> makes you work for the rest of your life? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So. What do you guys wish to do as you right now in this village? I mean, I'm going to kind of follow Josh out because we're here for his family. So I'll just trail behind him. 
Um, I mean, the village is not very big, right? It's just regular old, pretty small. Nah, I mean, roughly looking around, there's definitely a hundred or less people here. Got it. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna look around. Is there like a place where people like to gather, like an inn or something like that? Uh, Are you just glancing around real fast? Yeah. Make a perception check then. While he's glancing, I'll go ask someone. Right. So, perception check, and then we'll get Diana. Uh, glancing around, a lot of the buildings look pretty similar. Uh, you don't have a good guess currently, but... Who do you pick out of the crowd, Ayana? Um, whoever looks like they're very nice. They're not like super busy because I don't want to bother them if they're like really hard at work or whatever. Um, but I also don't want like the person who's not working. Um, so somewhere in between, someone kind of just make an insight check. Oh, I'm great at those. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh. Okay. I've got a freaking plus four for constitution. You can't roll above a two, but insight, I got you. Yeah. Luckily, <laughs> you can manage to pick somebody who, while they seem a little bit busy, uh, they they don't look overly. It looks like they're kind of, they do some for a second and they stop for a bit. And then they do some for another second and stop for a bit. So you walk up to them and they kind of turn to you surprised. They go, oh, uh, Yes. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Um, I, uh, my friends and I just got here, and so we were just kind of wondering, um, if there's like a place where we can talk to whoever your village leader is, or um, if there's a place where everyone kind of gathers. And I mean, there's this small well, meeting call a little uh -huh. bit down the way, like <laughs> quite the you, direction. She, they point behind you. Uh, and they go, you walk that way, and once you see the blacksmith, take a left, and should be... It, it's a big platform. That, that's where meetings tend to happen. Okay, thank you. And Not good luck with your work. Bye! Shuffle back to Joshua. And tell him the directions that I got. Cool. So we go to the blacksmith, and then we turn right, uh -huh. um, or left. Which uh, uh, definitely, okay. definitely left. I, I'm gonna go right. <laughs> well, okay, number one, meeting hall might not be exactly, where, like, I don't want to necessarily find, like, meeting hall isn't, I want to find, like, where the townspeople just hang out. Meeting hall usually isn't used unless it's Well, like then why don't we just kind of like sit and watch the people? Even though it, it seems like they're, I'm really good at looking at people and picking up on social cues. And it seems like everyone's kind of busy at work right now. Yeah. Yeah, it's the morning. So I don't think everyone's just like hanging out, you know? No, I know. I know. So, Are we going to wait till... Uh, I have a question, DM. I question might have an answer, player. Is there a town drunk about? Make another perception check. Wow. It wasn't hard. Yes, definitely. Uh, he is sitting probably about 10 feet away where the person that Ayana was talking to. And he's just kind of sitting there, leaning up against the, a building, and just like... Just yelling. Ah, yes. I go up, and he's sitting, like, against a wall or something like that. Yeah, he's sitting on the ground, just leaned up against it. He's kind of mean, though. Like, half-empty bottle things. already in his hand. I sit down next to him, and there's... What you drinking, bud? Not sure. It tastes like piss, though. And he gestures it out to you. 
Oh, thanks. I take a big swig. It tastes horrible. Oh, that's probably some of the worst stuff I've had. What uh, if it actually is pee? I know it's, it's not. not. Pee. It's not pee. Um, I uh, do I have? Oh, I don't have any of the weird, gross, like super. He's familiar stuff. with that taste as well. <laughs> Unfortunately. <Gross. laughs> Uh, um, the, I don't have any, like, the, the, uh, what's it called, spit anymore, do I? Uh, you haven't drank any more of it, have you? No, I don't think so. I think I still have, like, a little bit. I think you still have, like, a shot left. I, I pour, like, a little bit, and I'm like, you really want to get hit. This is the stuff, but. He looks and goes, that it? Trust Ain't gonna me. turn it down. I Talk and I I like about no before I hand it to him I like hold it and I go eh, I got some questions real quick. You answer my I'll questions answer. I'll let you have this. I'll answer away. <sighs> Perfect. Um, that tower always been here. Yes. Yes. Have you noticed anything, any weird stuff going on with it? Uh, no. I hear you tell people see stuff flying around it occasionally, but... Big stuff? Yeah, big blue stuff. Big blue stuff. Townspeople uh, have much to do with the tower, or they try to stay away from it as much as they can? And they, they stay away from it. It has a weird history. Used to be a wizard that lived there. And this whole village was where his apprentices live. And then he just lifts, disappeared. And Interesting. the village stayed. Uh, know anybody I can talk to about that? About what bit? The, the history of the tower. Ah... Uh, Probably find the oldest guy and ask him. He might have been an apprentice. Got it. Nobody it goes around here. Nobody goes over there, though? No townspeople? Are you guys, like, afraid of it? Nah, that maze is dangerous. Did it? Maze? Interesting. What do you mean by maze? At the bottom of the tower, there's a maze. Because... Well, Zelenthar liked his privacy, and if you couldn't solve his maze, you didn't get to enter. Is that the mage that used to live there? Yeah. Same. Okay. I think, uh, I think you've answered enough of my questions, and I hand him the thing. And... He tosses it back, and then slumps on the ground unconscious. I put, I, I like, he's got like a pocket somewhere, right? Uh, most of one. Most of one. I, I slide like, uh, like six silver into this pocket. Alright. And, uh, I sit up. Alright, we're looking for a really old dude. Is the drunk dude old? Okay. I mean, he was older. But it's hard to tell. Maybe it's just like okay. outside. It, might... yeah, it could be wear from the weather and being outside all the time. It could be age. It's hard to tell. Alright, well, okay. I can see if I... What? I'm just gonna start looking around and seeing if I see a really old person, I guess. Like, mm, I'm talking Valkyrie real. The same thing. Looking for an oldie, but a goodie. Same. Or like talk to about a uh, mage's apprentice. Ask some. Maybe we should ask for about a mage's apprentice. Oh, but if I the, do perception, uh, that's better. The apprentice is the old guy. Yeah. I mean, if I remember that, is that correct, DM? Is I listening? He said he might be. Might yeah, be. Might be an apprentice. Um. Well, I while I'm looking around, I'm gonna go towards like all the little shops and stuff I see, and and yelp. Yelp. Right. Yeah. Just to see if anyone said anything about, like, I don't know, anything useful <laughs> about the tower or about, like, what can people I, sell. I gotta go uh, reread my spell. Oh, I'll just post it in the thing. Let's see. Right, that'll work. There we go. 
Uh, you guys are 11th level, so it allows you to get four of them. All right. Aren't you just uh, so glad you made a joke cantrip? <laughs> so I mean, it's kind of fun. Uh, so the closest yeah. place is like the blacksmith, right? Because yeah. it was just down the corner. So I'm gonna. And what did you say you were looking for exactly? Um, to see if they said anything about like, I don't know, any like weird magic stuff that's been offered, or like if anybody's mentioned like anything even remotely close to, related to the tower. Uh, I'm mostly looking for more magic stuff because I don't think that this uh, village would have a ton of magic in it. Uh, speed things along. The blacksmith doesn't say anything about the tower. Uh, you go to a little general store uh, and yelp it, and one of you says that the guy claimed to have stuff from the tower, uh, but I know it's in there. It's not from the tower. Uh, another business. Uh, I can't think of the word. It'll come to me later. Uh, it says that a cartographer. That's what it's called. Uh, a little cartography says that it has a map that can guide you through the maze, but it didn't work. So, those are the only two that really ping as like, oh, that's about the tower. Through the maze? Yeah, yeah so at the base of the tower is a maze built by the wizard. Oh, okay. Who's trying I, to keep everybody out. Must have, must have missed that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but everybody else, make an investigation check as you wander around searching for this <laughs> old guy. Sweet. Thanks. Off to a great start. Yes. There we go. Now my now my random rolls are back to normal. After your thirty natural twenties in the last session. Bam! No, <laughs> those, are, those are those are battle rolls. Those are different. Get wrecked, just... Brandon. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Get on yes. my level. You guys all <laughs> kind of span out across this real small village, uh, asking around and looking at people and kind of judging ages, like, oh, they're pretty old. Uh, and you ask, and it's going, ah, that's not me. That's so mean. We're uh, just judging people. I meant, I meant, like, go uh, ask people. That person not looks just old. be like, hey, are you, are you old? Like, <laughs> go ask Are you old? old? Well, it's a, are you it's an like a combination you, of. The tower? Yeah, it's like a combination of. They look old. But let's ask them if they're uh, if they were an apprentice. Well, what do they know about tower and the blah blah blah? Yeah. It's not just oh, you're old. How old are you? <laughs> yeah. Breaking news: sure Ages strangers am, come to the town. Ages strangers. All of our old people. <laughs> uh, but, that doesn't sound like profiling to me. Uh, Artemis, you eventually are just kind of like oh, I don't know, and then you see an elven fellow, and you go. Worth a shot. Oh, no. And you ask yeah. Kiv, and he goes, Why do you ask? Um... Why am I asking? I forgot. Oh my gosh. Um, well, we're wanting to get some more information about the, uh, about the tower. It's pretty Wait. intriguing. I mean, my friends... Just sort of, um, I don't know how much I'm supposed to share. Go ahead and gather your friends. I'll wait here for you. Meanwhile, I walk by. <laughs> much appreciated. <laughs> I like for a second was like, did you just hiccup? No, it's, it's the yelp. yelp. Yeah, I'm yelping. Um, I'm just walking up to the random building and screaming. Like, what is this going place on? has the best <laughs> donuts I've ever had. I walk inside. No, <laughs> I see Ayana and I'm like, no wait, Ayana, uh, yeah. Ayana. Yeah. I think I found the apprentice. Okay. I look longingly at the t the, the place that has the best well, pastries or donuts. Well, there's a little pastry, so it's pretty <laughs> obvious. First, back. Okay, first the first the information, then the then the donuts. Well, you didn't hear that. That's just in my head. But well, didn't I see I the donuts? I, I mean, mean, it's I just a bakery. Yet. There's no donuts out on display. Oh, it's just yeah. So bread like... and stuff. Okay, so first the information, then Let's the get food. Get this bread. Get 
this bread. We'll get the bread and then we'll get this bread. Alright. Okay. I think it's meant to be the other way around. Uh, Let's get this uh, bread and then get the bread. Do you guys eventually all yeah, gather can... each other and find your way back to this elven dude? Uh, and he's just kind of sitting there and once you approach, he goes, This is, these are your friends. Uh, yeah. Bunch of mid smash, aren't you guys? What about it? I expected something a little more uniform, but that means you guys are more likely to be trusted, I guess. So, what do you want to know? Well, uh, what's up with the tower? Why are you talking to so easily? I don't care about that. The tower. Uh, there's a lot up with the tower. Zontho yeah. is quite an interesting fellow. So, how long ago did this wizard disappear? He kicked all of his apprentices out about 200 years ago. 200 years ago. And a long time. Then the tower fell silent about a decade or two after. Okay. And it's been dark and silent and mysterious, and people have tried sneaking in to steal Zonthor's stuff. But he was a clever man, and that never worked out for anybody who tried. Not yeah. even an apprentice as smart and capable as you? I have no desire to steal his stuff, because I know what's in there, and I don't want to touch it. What is in there? Zonthor dealt with many things. He was big, at least in his later years, uh, was big on controlling time and space. Uh, I don't imagine he succeeded unless, unless he succeeded the time bit. He partially succeeded the space bit. I don't want to touch his research and potentially end up like he did. That's fair. What eventually happened to him? Just gone? No idea. He disappeared. Some say he's a lich now. I don't think he is. He was never one to dabble in necromancy. I think honestly either one of his experiments killed him or he succeeded and he goes wherever he wants now. Joy. Anything you can tell us about the maze? Um, I know it changes regularly, so it requires a keen mind to remember it. Got it. But is, is there like a pattern to it? The main thing is it's sundial. The sundial will give the answers. What's the sundial? I mean, there's a sundial in the maze. You'll see it a bunch, don't worry. Oh. Sundial has the answers. Okay. Um, Vague and mysterious, I like it. Uh, you know anything about this uh, big blue flying thing that has apparently been spotted in the area? I've heard tales that a blue dragon has been flying around. But I haven't ever seen it. Zonthal ever mess with dragons? Nah, wasn't his thing. His big thing that he liked to play with were elementals. At least that. when I was working with him. He had a fondness for the chaos that they could bring, and but the order that if he just could get them just right. Just create something new. So, uh, if I we were to go into the tower, get past the maze, mm -hmm. is there any other weirdness that uh, is inside there? Any other like traps or? Uh, not necessarily traps, but the entire tower doesn't have stairs. It works entirely through teleportation. Ah, great. What's up? 
try to keep in track where you are in the tower. Oh, that should be no problem. I'm really good with directions. Yeah, she's you not. She definitely not lost. Look about flying. You won't be able to fly over it. Not over it. Through it. Throughout it. I'm assuming it's all rooms. Yeah. But there are floors and ceilings. I don't think it's just like a cylinder, hollowed out cylinder type thing. Yeah, no. Um, have the townspeople had any problems with dealing with the tower other than people trying to go in there and failing? No. Most people are cagey about talking about it. I mean, because I, of its ominous appearance in the distance, but. I mean, pretty freaking scary, to be honest. Not looking forward to going in there. You guys haven't had any trouble with people coming out to the town from there? Anything Nobody coming out tower? of it to the town, but I've noticed the tower lights have been on once more, so that means somebody's in there. Yeah. Alright. Somebody's in the tower. Hasn't been bothering you guys. You haven't been bothering them. I know how long ago we got these dragon sightings. Nothing else that I've noticed, at least. Hmm. Any kind of layout you can tell us about the temple? Or the tower? It's a tower with no stairs. Well, it's right, going to be like, a bunch of specific, cylindrical rooms. Specific le levels that are special about something, like one was explicitly his experimentation room, one was his study. Well, he had his... He had a chamber he didn't allow any of his apprentices in, which I would presume is either his bedroom or careful chamber. Uh, he had an observatory at the top. The, the main room that I ever dealt with was his little audience chamber where we, where we taught. Like a classroom type thing. Sort of. Okay. We went into the basement levels maybe once or twice. And honestly, that's been so long ago, I don't remember what's down there. That's a bummer, because my next Why question was what was down there. there. Brando wants to know if he believes him. Make an insight check. I mean, he seems fairly truthful. He doesn't seem like he's lying anywhere. Why? It, I mean, two hundred. Yeah. Okay. Um, after two hundred years, why not leave? Why are you still doing in this village? I guess just vain hope that he'll come back and take me back, show me the mystery that he unraveled. You can come with us. Yeah, you want to Maybe he's back? in there. I don't. It's not Zontha in there. Well, wouldn't you want to clear it back for him? So that if he ever does come home, you can be like, Wow, look at me, I'm the best apprentice ever! I saved your tower for you! And he'd be like, you're so cool, you're going to be promoted. Nah, if Zontha's dead, there's no point in that. If he's alive, he can easily clear out his tower himself. And me doing that would just probably interfere with one of his experiments, I'm sure. And what if he's in there turned to stone and he needs your help? Yeah, we found powerful mages Crushing. that have been turned to stone before. How do you be turned to stone? That's ridiculous. That is Crazier stuff. Power that we've yeah. Been in. Yep. Yeah, it seems to be a well, I won't say common. I don't know how common it is. But I mean, run into every it, powerful mage we've come into or come into contact with it in a tower has been turned to stone. We can't say that. Well, That's that I don't, is fair. I don't. Is this true? The... I don't know if that's. I mean, with the specification um, of in a tower, yes, yeah. <laughs> it is true. Oh, yeah, in, in a, yeah, in a tower, I suppose. Yeah. Yes. But if you do make it out. And for whatever reason, Zontha is in there. Let me know, because that obviously means he doesn't want me back, so... 
I'll I mean, find my own way. If the cult's keeping him captive in there, or if, like, I don't know, I, I feel like it would be a lot stronger of a message coming from you than coming from us. That you're still this faithful apprentice. But I mean, if you're just waiting around 200 years, not for loyalty, that's something else. Hey, and it's denial, partially. Wouldn't it be nice to get that closure? But it'd also bring up a lot of memories I don't feel like I, I don't think I want to deal with yet. Maybe mm -hmm. if you guys clear it out and everything's clear and Zonthar's obviously not in there, maybe I'll go back, take a quick walk through memory lane, but I don't have any desire to go in there right now. Not without Zonthar inviting me. All right. Suit yourself. We all just stare at him. I mean, <laughs> yeah. well, I appreciate uh, appreciate you talking about it with us. Is there anything we can uh, do to repay you? Just come back and let me know what you find. We can certainly can try. try. If you don't come back, obviously you didn't even make it to the tower. Yeah. I mean, or we did make it to the tower and we died in the tower. Or we made it to the tower and we we're fine and we got out of the tower and we just don't come back here because we've got a lot of other stuff to do. You know, like we're saving the whole world. So you're just one guy. I mean, you're a cool guy, but just one guy still. So everything's going to be fine. If we get out, we can come and tell you. Let's say hope does not how you repay everybody. Won't get you terribly far. I mean, we're we're clearing your boss's tower for you. And if you see the lights go out and they don't come back on, then we succeeded. Either way, I'll send you a message. If we if we can't come back here, I'll send you a message. Okay. That'll be enough. All right. <laughs> send him a message now. No, I'm not going to send him a message right now. We're standing right here. I can just talk to him. Alright. Well, we'll let you know. Alright. Thanks for your help. Appreciate it. As we're walking away, I'm going to... point the direction that we're going to go and thunder comes out of my finger. That's new. I don't think so. I think she's done it like twice. Valkyria, no one even pulled your finger that time. Remember. I don't remember. <laughs> Haven't you done it before, Brando? Y yes. Okay. She's done it Joshua once. Has... Oh, okay. Yeah, Joshua. Like twice in one day, and then I haven't done it for a few days. All right. Um, as we're walking away from him, I'm going to cast a message and be like, it's not too late to change your mind. Good cup with us. See, I told you you'd do it all the time. Oh, wait. She get no response. Good. Hello? Listen, this this can place has. Me? I don't know if the connection's good. I... Oh my gosh. Ayana, it's okay. <laughs> I think you guys. he's pushing me, guys. Guys, it's that that place has a lot of bad memories for him. We gotta let let him. You know. I mean, like none of us have faced bad memories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's he's true, not but ready for it. Not okay? everyone's us. Yeah. Or we're kind of we're kind of like you know freaks feels. super awesome oh. we are super awesome let's I, go guys everything is awesome it really everything is it's not awesome copyright that's going on the playlist brb right. you guys brb got to beat my dog what just <laughs> make your way to the tower and about probably a quarter of the mile from outside from the end from the tower begins this large hedge maze. Large. Very thick wall. Uh, this bad boy okay. can fit so many dead things in it. Probably, Joshua's gonna do know. the obvious thing, but obviously incorrect. Like, everybody knows it's not gonna work, but Joshua's gonna try. 
Gonna try to fly over the hedge maze. Alright. You fly above the hedge maze, and as you get higher above it, it you can see it curves and turns and goes all around the outside of it, but you can't see any obvious path. Uh, and I, you're flying to the tower? I mean, I'm gonna start heading that way, yeah. You kind of fly over it, trying to track some things, but it goes around the tower in such ways that you're just like, ah, screw it. Fly straight to the tower. Uh, and you get there, and they're just slats. There, there are no obvious holes. Huh. And then, as you kind of follow around, you can see a balcony, and you go to get on it, and you just hit this wall. It's like, okay, magic. He's got bulletproof glass. I hate this magic stuff. Kick it. Your just, leg shatters. And you kick like air, and it's just like, oh, that's weird. <laughs> Your leg literally explodes. <laughs> you start uh, careening down like a helicopter with the tail blown out. Just... <laughs> I uh, I fly back to the group. Did you save your son? I just stare at Ayana, just like he's not here, so I guess it's not. Sorry. Deboro dude Tell says you watch your leg glitch out then disappear. You just leg clip through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, DM, I'm no clipping. <laughs> you clip through the universe. Ah! One more character loses a limb. Tolnag is there. Oh my gosh, it's even it's JJ's character. JJ's it's here. always Every JJ's time, characters. Baby. Every time, baby. <laughs> it's what I'm here for. <laughs> JJ be like, no limb gang. No limb gang. Uh, yeah, it looks like um, no cheatsies on this one. I'm here. Oh, three of to go. JJ missing a limb. Deborah dude says JJ's version of so she shook this flower. Yeah, it's true. So, anyways, then he lost a limb. So, you enter the maze. Is this like Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire? Third worse. task, hedge maze. Worse. Worse. Kind of. Actually. Worse. Yeah. <laughs> All Except right. people are actually gonna die here. Like that's it's not this isn't like haha, it's just for fun. But this it's and uh, it's like oops, it's actually scary. It's like no, this is this is made to be death. I mean I don't know what you're talking about. The hedge maze in Goblet of Fire is pretty freaking terrifying. Well yeah, but it's not meant to be lethal. Well, only because the ending was trapped. I mean spoilers for Goblet of Fire if anybody hasn't Wow, spoilers, JJ. Goblet. Harry Potter spoilers. Thank yeah, came out uh, like 2008. Doesn't hey, matter. The book <laughs> came out when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah the book came out when I was a kid. So like that. the movie came out like 2005. Yeah. So uh, the the maze itself wasn't trapped. The only reason Cedric Diggory died is because the end trophy was trapped to teleport you. The maze itself was scary, but not lethal. It's designed for children. Yeah, so it's designed for, designed for actual I mean, children. extremely gifted children, <laughs> but children nonetheless. Like, all right, did you put him in the goblet of fire? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, okay. no, this is this is Foaming an actual at the deadly. <laughs> oh, what was that noise? It's just like, just like spit flying everywhere. I just imagine that's the noise that goes through your head whenever we play Commander. And as we enter, anyway. the it just takes like one. <laughs> he said calmly. <laughs> one last look outside the maze, and then just like scowls and heads on in. Right. Kind of scowl and then step in. And once you step in, you guys walk for about 20 seconds. Uh, and at that point, the sky is no longer blue in daytime, it just becomes a starry night. Wow, sunset's fast here. And anybody who wants to can make a quick nature check. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I'm not even gonna. Yes. Not even yes, gonna. <laughs> wow, Valkyria. Oh, Valkyria's oh, like, no! dude, that's a. Wreck. <laughs> ah, get wrecked. Right. Right. Uh, 
Artemis, you don't necessarily notice. You kind of just stare and go, oh, that's weird. Uh, Colth and Valkyria, you would very quickly notice that, like, those aren't our constellations. Those are really oh! different. Oh! <laughs> This is, this is some Call of Cthulhu type stuff, ma'am. Abort. Why are you scared about stars? It's not our sky. It's not our sky. Cassio doesn't care. JJ does. It's not our sky. And then you guys. It's like when you're a kid and you put those little sticky stars isn't, on your roof. Isn't and... it just? Isn't it just like your uh, your little plane shift thing, Colth? Nope, because none of us felt teleporty. Yeah, I think yeah, it's just, just he wanted to create like a you. sky, and he didn't study his constellations, and so he just made his own. Right. This I is going to be a big it. map. Heads up. Uh, oh, so, sure. you guys will be in the top left corner. Chon chonky map. Oh my, oh my gosh. Big map. This map is thick with two C's. And you guys... Walk in well, we're for another four hours. You walk in for another for another about ten seconds, and you get into this open clearing, oh, coming God. in from that southernmost one, with these eight directions and a sundial in the middle. All right. So we each go a different direction. Right. And... Someone, some smart person right. figured out. What's up with the sundial? Sorry. Yeah. The sundial is supposed to Wait. guide the way. The. Uh, the sundial in the center, you kind of go quickly look at it. Uh, and there is a shadow on it, which doesn't make sense because it's a night sky. But And the arrow points directly northward this way. So let's follow that. As we'll start trying this way. Well, north is the best shot we've got. Yeah. Oh, Valkyria's going for it. I don't want to lose you guys, so I'll follow you. Get out from inside of me. It's pointing up. Uh, pointing north, yeah. Also, why is the rogue in the front again? Uh, you guys are oh, sorry. One, Wait, one where'd you go, person Josh? we were talking to, then we may as well do what he said. If it doesn't seem to work, the... we'll you're not going to be able to cross. You guys will be visiting this a few times unless I move you directly. If I wait, okay, so I can't see beyond this. This is a wall. Okay, or... so basically we're we're stay we're staying here, but we say we're going north and we're actually coming out of the south thing for the next thing. Well, this next time you come from the north. Area. Oh, so we're coming from wait. up here. Yeah, you guys come from. We all just dart around the map because we have no. We're already. Okay, computer. hold up, hold up. I need to map this out. Hold up. We went north and we came in south. Here, do you need some paper? Okay, so you came north. in from well, I the look north. at the sun I look yeah, at the so sundial again. South. So we, we walked out we went in the northern direction and we came we in went... walking the southern direction. Okay. What does the Dead sundial south, look like said. now? No. Yeah, let me explain okay. how this went. You guys came in from the south. Which note, these paths have been curving this entire time. So you came in and then came in went, followed the sundial and followed it northward. Yeah, you yes. went through that track for about oh, another forty-five seconds, and then came out to another sundial coming in from the northern area. Yeah, Traveling okay. south. So now, uh, it looped around. So what does the sundial look like now? Uh, you look at the sundial, and this time it points the way you came, and directly to the east. And so. It it oh, point, so it's two pointing directions? again to the north and now to it, the east? Or is it pointing this way? Wait, no. It's, it's pointing, pointing north two directions? and so, east. Yes, the way we came okay. and to the east. Let's go northeast. I mean, uh, we can't go two separate ways, so let's or, just or wait. Or wait. Or, or is it making an arrow and it's wanting us to go southwest? Or it's telling us that... Or it's multiple shadows, like... Like, yeah, you got this right, so now go this way. Or it's intentionally trying to split the party. Yeah, well, Let's do that! I mean, not, no. I, like, if anybody <laughs> tries to walk away, I'm just gonna grab them. So. I say we follow the new arrow that's pointing and see what happens in the next room. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Go east. Yeah, I'm, I'm going east. Go east. Right. 
Everybody goes east. You guys walk for roughly... Ah, uh, this one is a while. You guys walk for about minute, minute and a half. You guys are like, oh man, maybe, maybe we went the wrong way. And then you see an opening. And follow it a little bit further. And it is now a large open area. Now we'll read box text as I transport you guys. Oh, uh, oh! Filling the center is of this eighty-foot square courtyard is a circular pool of water, about sixty feet across. Water is dark and murky, and you can't see terribly far in it. But a gemstone hovers about one foot above the center of the pool, and there's another path on the other side of it. Hey, Austin, not to be real nitpicky, but I'm supposed to have vision out to 120 feet. Not 60. I never I never officially changed that on your thing. Sorry. Just so I could see more of the room is all. This is all. He's being greedy. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's a room. There's just a gemstone floating over this pit. Yeah, it's just floating over the water. Go fly and get it, Joshua. No, don't fly over the pit. I don't know. I don't know if That's we want to be. I don't know if we want to be grabbing our... anything. Anything in the water. Us being greedy. Us being greedy would probably be a bad idea. I mean, anything I in the water. can check for magic, but I can't reach all the way up there. You look oh, in the water, uh, and it's very murky, and you kind of lose sight of any sort of depth after about a foot. And so it's hard to say how deep it is or what's in it. I take a. My guess wait. is if that if. Wait, hold up! I can right. I can grab it from a distance. I don't touch no, we it. Don't we don't want to grab it. Don't touch it! Don't be greedy. That's. What if we're not being greedy? And what if this is a key of some kind? Hey. Um. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna or I'm gonna double distance spell or whatever. Detect magic. Okay. And I could. You cast Detect Magic, and you see, like, the whole lighter, whole lighter. like so everything is magical here. Yeah. Oh, man. Guys, this is a sensory yeah. overload here. Grab everybody. She's going. <laughs> She's gone to plaid. Everything's like a kaleidoscope in my brain. Lead me. I can't see. I feel like if if we were meant to be grabbing stuff... Um, the elf would have told us. The elf, okay, what does the, the, the elf gem. only said the sundial would show the way. Uh, yes. The and gem. so far, we're following the sundial. Yes, yeah, so don't grab it. But there's no sundial. The sundial is leading gem. directly to this area. And wants us to keep, probably keep going. And there is a opening know. on the other end. Yes. Okay, but what does the gem look like? Check and roughly guesstimate because there isn't necessarily one. Transmutation, that's a good catch all. Okay, I'll relay that to them. What if this isn't the right way, guys? I mean, there's no sundial here. You guys, I'm kind of curious. Do you think anything's going to happen if I throw a dart in the pool? Oh, sure, we can't touch the stone, but man, disturbing the water, that's such a well, greater plan. I mean, I'm just asking. I'm What's not the worst doing that can happen? I don't think it's a good idea. I think we just keep going. Everybody stand back. Joshua, do it. No, I'm not touching it. If everybody wants me to not I touch it. I agree with Artemis. I mean, I don't I mean, care. Don't I want to mess with the area, so. If you want to throw a dart in, go for it, because I want to know what this does. You could, like, check for traps or something. We... The... Look, it's um, a pond. It's it's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. To the last time you were in a pond all by yourself? I'll throw an insight check against the pond. <laughs> <laughs> Make an insight check. What if it's just a pond? This water looks super shifty. It's never, it's never, it is never just a pond. It's always just... a trap. Oh, no. It's pretty pondy. 
I'm I so suspicious. I can't it's tell fun. either way. I can't it's tell. Like, I of... see you, pond. I it's see just you. a pond, guys. No. I mean, it's not a pond. It's it's. It's pretty. It could. Uh, I lose like sight of the pool. It's, a... it's like a pool yeah, or it's something. It's probably a pool. Yeah, it, it... It's fairly deep from what you can roughly guess. I mean, you lose sight about a foot, so I mean, who knows how deep it is. Does my 120-foot vision help that at all, or no? No, it is not a darkness Pod. thing. It's okay. a murky thing. Okay. Just checking to make sure. Murky, wa murky water covers all. But DM, um, I have dark vision. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could go you in and swim understand. to the bottom and try to find out. But DM, I have dark vision. Do it. Do it. <laughs> but DM, Do it. I have. Do but DM, I have devil's sight. <laughs> Let, let's let's keep going. If we end up back here, we can then look at the, the jewel or the pool. The jewel or what? the pool. You can drop the accent around us, Arthur. We know you don't have an actual accent. Uh, look. Look. I got... It's not it's about okay. that. I mean, I kind of like it. I don't know. All right. I'm going to walk past Ayana and be like, you like everything about <laughs> Arthur. Is there, is there <laughs> actually like, a gap here? <laughs> huh? Is there That's actually just, just like an open map. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. That's so, not supposed to be there. So it's supposed you to guys be follow this path, path, and you follow it for... A while, probably another like minute, and then hey, get over there. <laughs> yeah, don't, Stop don't, don't, don't over yeah, don't go randomly moving your figure around because you're gonna just start, you might just start seeing stuff, so don't just start moving your figure around. Yeah, this map is I like, just looped around. Yeah, just loop back around, and you're like, wait, what? Right, uh, now we're uh, lost. I told you this is the wrong way. Touch the gem. I'm throwing it's a dart. Way out of here. Everybody stand back. Right. You throw a dart, I get an attack car. roll. An attack roll? There's something in the water. Of course there's something in the water. It's a dark pool. Right. You hit. So you hit it, and it moves a bit, and it falls. Oh, wait. The, the, wait, you the gem? Been, oh, no, he was doing the no, I wasn't going to throw the head at the gem. I just was throwing it in the water. Oh, you're see. throwing it at the water? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, I thought you were trying to hit the gem. No, no, no. I just throw it in the water to see when if he it When he starts like... throwing, when he starts throwing, I want to get my bow and arrow ready. Like, hmm. Oh, that's a good idea. Why don't you shoot the gem to where it goes on to the other side? What? I can uh, just grab I'm... the gem if we want to do that. I'm gonna, ca like, I'm gonna or... cast Mage Hand yeah. and grab the gem. Oh, wait, before you do that, I, I know we're all trying to do things at the exact same time, uh, but... It was kind of helpful for you last time. Joshua, do you want me to protect you in case you get hurt again? Yeah, I kind of, kind of took a okay. beating. How long is that? Does that last eight hours? It lasts eight hours. Yeah, yeah. death ward's eight hours. Um, does anyone else want it? Touch, touch me. What is it? Do you oh, do gross. Ones? Two of you guys. What, what is you that? can do those two. Okay, so I'll give it to Valkyria. I'll cast death ward on Valkyria and Joshua. Hey, wait a minute. Actually, do I need like? Is that gonna work? I mean, it's, I if you drop if you drop to zero if you drop to zero hit points, you come back to one. You go to one. Yeah, yeah no, it's, but I already it's check. basically relentless endurance. But yeah, you but just don't have he's... to make the check. Oh, because I would have to make a check. Okay, so yeah. it's, it's but, automatic it's instead of making a check. But Val is but Val is oh, undead. Do Does that sort that. of thing work on undead? It's yes. Oh. yes. We've decided well, so we've decided that helpful spells don't. It doesn't really matter. Valkyria okay, is complicated. Okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah, because like, have... but, but what I'm to... asking is, is so the death ward when it happens, if I go to zero again, I do I get my undead thing or do I yes. not get my undead thing? Yeah, you get your undead. Thing it's it's basically okay. like first so I get time two drop to zeros. So yeah, you get the first one's free, and then the second one <laughs> is I have to make my check. Deborah dude says it works because plot. What I'm yeah, trying I mean, to exactly. Oh wait, plot arm. Deborah dude is wide, wide, wise. What were you saying? I, <laughs> if, I forgot that you naturally have that, so Ayana knowing that would probably give it to Colt instead. Okay. So you don't have two drop to zero swap, or oh, the other swap. Why not? Why not man? We have three front range people, or front line people, and I could only protect two of you. But one can protect themselves. I don't know what you're talking about. All right. After this, I'm gonna cast Mage Hand and grab the gem. All right. 
presuming nothing happened when JJ or Joshua threw the dart into the pool. That's why we're going to be doing it in the order people said things. Okay, yeah. Joshua first. I, Joshua. And I had my bow ready. You drew your bow ready. and you were just waiting. Uh, Joshua, you threw the dart into the water. And it ripples, but nothing else happens. Hmm. All right, that's semi comforting. I get an arrow. All right, and I use mage hand to grab the gem. Right. You reach out, and it grabs, and just start to pull it towards me. And it pulls back. Okay. And nothing happens. <laughs> Nothing seems to. Okay, I'll grab the gem with my actual hand then. You have it. Does it look cool? It's, it's a little garnet. Cool. Transmutation stone of some kind. Does it? Is it magical of some kind? Yes, transmutation. Oh right, duh. But no, I I forget I forget that I don't have identify like Dirk does. So, uh, okay. Well, I'll put it in my bag of holding. Weird garnet. Right. Joshua does a 21 hit you. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, yeah, no. does. Ah, nice. All right. You take 10 points of bludgeoning damage and you are grappled as quickly out of the water. You can't even see the rest of the body, but a large pincer arm reaches out and grabs you. It's a giant crab! How much damage did I take? 10 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay, still got. Th oh, uh, technically, I uh, have. Oh, Sanctuary. Uh, spell up. So it has to make a wisdom save first. Yes. It fails. So it's instead going to attack Ayana, who's next to you. Ah, get wrecked, no! nerds. No! No! <laughs> Does a 25 hit you? Ayana? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> For 12 oh. points of bludgeoning damage. Cool. <laughs> uh, but it hits me, so I'm going to try to hit it back. With my uh, Sorry, I'm using a charge for my tattoo in order to try to hit that back. Okay. Um, and let's see if I can. The heck is oh there he is, Windbreaker! I'm swinging at it. Twenty-one hit. Yeah, that hits. And I'll also use another charge in order to um, take my health back. So you've spent two so, charges. Yes. Okay. All right, so now we get to roll initiative. Yeah. Wee! It should have been me. It didn't drop I me forget. when I did that, did it? By nope, chance? still okay. holding on to you. I, I forget that Sanctuary doesn't just stop the attack if it no. doesn't pass, which is actually kind of worse. I wish it would have just... If, if, being if, a frontliner, if, yes. yes. Yeah. If if Ayana was like five feet away, then it probably could have been different, because it has to be choosing a different target for the attack. But you would be able to see this one now because it would have had to come out. It is. Oh, that's not a giant crab. I clicked on myself. 